Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Yakuza Kiwami on the Mysterious JG. So I read a couple of things between uh, videos. Um, we got to go bowling to get the essence of overhead throw. As suspected, excuse me. But the other two both involve random encounters, which I probably can trigger. Like, those are the fights that Majima will interrupt. But I got some information on where they're most likely to spawn, so we could pursue that. But the main thing I just realized is... Beats of Good Fortune will make it so that we don't have random encounters. And random encounters are just an annoying, an annoying waste of time at this point. So Beats of Good Fortune are definitely worth getting. But there's Majima. I just saw Majima on the side thing before, right before I was about to say, should we go do that now? Should we do the side quest? There's Majima. Everyone's idol, Goro. Hey, Kiryu-chan, I've been looking for you for the past 24 hours, but I just fought you like 10 minutes ago. See, so you haven't changed out of that outfit. <laughs> yeah, you gotta stand out like a sore thumb to be in a break of battle. Cool. If it's a performance and not a fight, then that's not much... There's not much I can do. I'll be your partner. Let's get this thing started. Step and go, baby. <laughs> Breaker's about the speed of getting in hits and breaking up their combos, which is handy sometimes. Except that he fucking never lets you throw him! Fine, I'll stop trying to hit heat moves. Forgive me for trying to do that. Breakers is so slow, but it's... It is the only thing where I'm consistently hitting him instead of vice versa. Damn it! I had it! I had an opening to do a heat move! Oh, that was good! I guess I didn't know about that one. Or I can just do a double axe handle smash on somebody. Bullshit, man. I had some had some going there, and then it just all went to shit. I really wish I could ever get this to work, you know. But at least he doesn't immediately punish me with damage every time. Sometimes he just... He'll just throw it off a few times before he insists on doing the one that damages me. Alright. As a counter. For daring to try and throw. Oh, he evaded my super dropkick. All right, there goes all the health I'd ever built, or uh, heat I'd ever built, ever. Okay, I'm sorry. Forgive me for trying to do anything other than this. The only thing that I can ever do against Majima is the low damage, super fast jabs. Everything else, no, you're just begging to get hit.
or unless you can get far away enough to trigger a heat combo. Are there Wapits I can grab around here? Doesn't look like it. Nah, no, can't really grab anything. Oh, fuck! Shouldn't have backed off. It does look like this is the, uh... If he's weak against... Ru or if Rush is what you have to do to break up his healing, then that's probably just kind of what you're meant to be in all the time. Beast might be uh, actually pretty effective if I could just tank some of these hits. Not really. We get the camera back, please. Okay, why? It's like when I can get heat moves to trigger and when I can't is a complete mystery to me at this point. Like there, I got these cues to do one. Can I? Uh, yeah, I'm waiting for the damn uh, icon to appear. He's getting all this healing while I'm doing regular triangle kicks instead of the Kiwami counter. Oh well. Alright, just keep ducking and weaving. Nothing else will ever be effective. There we go. It's just got to get positioned to where it, it thinks it's counting as a one of those goofball counters. <laughs> And that was the four go essence of four gods technique at work there. Wow, I almost finished him off with that. And I finished him off with that instead. Well, we know that the uh, experience level counter goes up past a thousand. Or into, into four digits. I knew you'd get angry with me. Look how excited everyone is. Huh. I only fought like I usually do. I'm not good enough to get a crowd hyped while I'm fighting. Yeah. But that's all you had to do, Kiryu Chan. Oh snap, it's almost time for my date with Cinderella. I'll see you after the ball, Kiryu Chan. Well, do I learn a new technique, or if I can't avoid him, I need to be prepared, or do I just. I'm building up the rank. And I learned Dragon Slow Burn too. Okay. So it wasn't a matter of getting him to interrupt the fight, I just needed it to happen on. Okay. That's cool. So that was, uh. Oh, no, never mind. I still need to learn Dragon Slow Burn 1 by uh, getting him to interrupt the fight. This, though, is uh, hold on to heat even longer than before while I'm Dragon Ajima style. Quick Step burns the heat gauge, but is available during a combo. Well, anyway, so I've already been pulled off of... Um, 
Is this the beef ball place? Yeah, this beef ball place. So there's apparently a a fight I can get into out of this place that will unlock a drag and a Dejima skill. But I was thinking, no, I, I know we were right there ready to do a side quest, but now that I know Beads of Good Fortune is, um, is a thing. Alright, hold on a second now. So before we continue... This one says, you need to interrupt them in the streets near the bowling. What did I... Oh, fudge. I messed something up. Okay, there's a fat dude with shades and leather jacket that will trigger Mad Dog Majima joining the fight at the Beef Bowl place. He's wandering around in front of the Beef Bowl shop. Okay. So, fat dude with shades and a leather jacket is what we're looking for here. We come in and out of the beef bowl shop and try to get him to spawn. So let's see if we can get this to happen. Come on now. I don't think I'm seeing him. This is the Millennium Tower, so I'm pretty sure this is what they're talking about. That's Casual Bar. That's Korean Barbecue. There's a Beef Bowl place over here. But I think this is the one they mean, because this is, like, obviously right next to the Millennium Tower. Those are regular thugs. There's a woman who kind of looks like she's part of this quest. I think what I need to do, actually, is consider just, uh... I should go do that karaoke now, just so that I never have to worry about these guys getting in my way while I'm trying to do a quest. Oh yeah, because now they got like guys doing for earthquake vertical splash. They're pulling out a electric uh, power attack thingy, Majigger. I didn't mean to do that. Hey, I was going for my power shot. Damn it! They're not doing any damage, but they're just making this a really annoying fight. To drop trying to use Dragon of Dejima style if it's not uh, the best style to use. Here's a fat guy with the fat guy with a knife. There's a fat lady stuck in the elevator. I'm checking her out. All right. Well, maybe maybe the fat guy with the shades will appear now. But uh... Oh, but I noticed that this this person looks like uh, she's part of a quest or something. Annoying as hell. Seriously, another scout? Huh? Oh, sorry. This cabaret club's got to get bothered me. Thought you might have been him, but you look nothing like a scout. I'd like to see you better. That's cabaret called Club Shine Shine. Whatever. Okay. All right. So let's uh, let's come back. Let's let's uh, spend the rest of this video doing karaoke. Just so that we will be uh, able to get the golden beads accessory and forever be done. Ooh. If I had money, I go to shine every day. Shine, 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 shine your love. Shine, 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 shine your love. Shine, 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 shine your love. Shine your love for me. What is this? Uh, this is uh, karaoke bar, yeah. So I didn't come down quite far enough. It's here. It's here. It's here. Okay. All right, I gotta concentrate real hard because this is for. I'm realizing now. We we could still get invaded by uh 
survive Majima, but I mean, I think that's a thing that can happen. It might happen in later games and not in this one, or it might have to be at a higher Majima level. But the point here is uh, something that we have not got a high score on yet. Oh, my Mylai. So these are the songs that ladies sing. This is one I, I didn't quite get before. Simple interjections, lively. Oh. Okay, maybe this is the one that I sing with Majima if he shows up, but he didn't. This is weird. I guess I don't have the distraction of having to listen to the music. It would be weird for him to do the lively interjections by himself. This is already weird, of course. Crazy. I hope I get the points for this. This is a very silly thing to be doing. The cheering portion of karaoke. Japanese! Got bad there in a couple. I hope that was enough. I had a couple of bads, but mostly greats. Fuck you, cat creature. Fuck all you guys. Oh man. I. I can't imagine getting much better at that. Like, I, I could get a little better. I couldn't get much better. And they just fucking... I didn't even close to the points. So the question now would be... I could try to do this one slightly better. Or I could try to do one of these with, like, lively interjections. See if that gives you more points. But 900 seems to be, like, about a perfect score. So the other thing is just, like, say I'm done with this and I gotta find something else. Oi, oi, oi. Yay, yay. Yeah, trying to concentrate here, but... This seemed like the easiest way to get those toys, but I might have to go with uh, playing cards or something. Because I definitely want to get that, uh... Wow, this is a lot. Some of those little cartoon creatures are bastards. 
There's no way I'm getting enough points here. I'm messing up all over the place. This is where I really miss the the rhythm game in Final Fantasy X Statue, where all you had to do was slam the buttons because they didn't program the scoring properly. No, I I would be shocked if I got a perfect score there. It does appear that you don't have to do as good because they give you so much more to do. Hmm. Oh, fuck you. Would I extend my time? Uh, no. I think uh, we've learned that the karaoke minigame is not going to be the place to do this. Neither is the batting cages. I need to probably... Um, I mean, I will get some more completion points from Majima Forever if I continue. But once I realize what that actual thing is for, uh, what the actual um, prize is, I just got a lot more important to try to get to it. 50 times? Ugh, that's a lot. Um... Surprised by Majima and forced into forced into fights by Majima aren't too far away. But uh, I think uh, cause these are just earning photos and then earning. Uh, yeah, I think I don't know how how long it would take to earn that many points in poker, but it's not a thing that you have to like. You have to be super awesome at poker and win an incredible uh -huh. game, and it resets if you're time. Like, yeah, with the baseball course, it's like you just got to get really good at the baseball course. You can't just let points pile up over time. It looks like with poker, you can. And that's what I need is something where you can just, like, over time. All right, well, we'll play a couple of rounds of poker, and eventually we'll get points, and we don't have to ever master poker completely. But uh, we, all, we do know that we can get one point from... Um, the photo booth, because that's not getting any harder. Uh, now that I understand the rules for this, which were not explained very well, it makes a lot more sense. We'll just keep doing the same pose over and over. <laughs> because you don't earn any better for doing different poses. Pose 2 will just be harder to get right. Which of these identical poses do you want to print? <laughs> I'm not even going to save it. Alright, so we're just sitting here taking photos by ourselves. We already had the cute thing where Majima shows up, so we don't need to get that again. I wanted to see what this pose is, but the timing is... I shouldn't have gone for it. We'll go back to what we know. Because if I get this right, we're finished now, and it, having thrown one... We now are under extreme pressure. But we pulled it out. We got the completion points from the photo booth. Now if it goes, if you can get even more by getting 50, then so be it. Okay, that's all you can get from the photo booth. They did not unlock anything else. So if we finish either of the girls' stories, we're done. Oh, five different prizes. Oh, boy. You know... I don't know which of these I've already got, though. The only reason I keep trying this is in the post-game world... I believe you get to hang out with the cute little girl and try to 
do activities with her. Fuck, I got that thing. I know I did. Anything that'll get us a few points to finish this thing up. If it had just come forward a little bit more before it gave up, whatever. And grab him right by the goddamn ears this time. Now does that count? Or does it have to be a different type of fries? Did you count, my little friend? Nope, it didn't. So apparently I'd already gotten that one. Well, this is where this becomes a terrible idea now, because it's like... I'd have to inventory exactly what prizes I've already gotten. That's probably a complete waste of effort now to, to mess with this. Because I'll get back and I'll see... Yeah, I got all these goddamn birds, I think. Fuck this. Alright, this isn't the way. This is not the way. We'll play poker or something. Considering how many card games there are to off-screen in this game... Uh, you guys watching me play a little poker... A little bit of poker is not all that crazy. Alright, so we will... Uh... Oh. Stop in the name of the law, kill your child. Damn, it's Officer Majima. You got any dangerous weapons, etc., etc. Haven't fought Officer Majima in a while. He's gonna find all sorts of shit on us. Oh. Okay, this is annoying, you know. Fading into him didn't seem to have been a good idea. Even from behind, I don't ever get to grab him, huh? Oh, that was nice. Just facing away from him, so I gotta extra fancy new uh, four gods would ever evade. Okay. I guess I need to realize I don't get to counter any of that shit. So he's completely done with this combo, no matter where it is in that I hit him. Boom. Break the face. Okay, 
Okay. Got my regular pattern going here of just building up heat, but not being able to do any damage with this. Ow. Alright, I need to heal after this, and then we need to call it a video after this fight, too, but... I think what I'll do between videos is make my way to the casino and play some black or poker. Can I use this guy? No. Ah, four Dragon Gods finisher. All right. See if we just happen to win any point, uh, anything from this. Probably not. <laughs> Can't believe we let some little shit like you be dangerous. Here's like a close up of my ass or some, something that probably wasn't meant to be taken up by the whole camera. <laughs> we might get triple S pajamas anywhere rank more easily than I thought. But anyway, I'm going to call it a video. And when we come back next time, uh... I will um, I'll do a little bit of off-screen management. I'm gonna I'm gonna I think just play some poker, and uh, I'll catch you guys. Uh, oh, let me navigate to where I can actually close out my recording software. I'll catch you guys next time.